Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. I am Mike. Thanks for spending a moment of your day with me. Today we are talking five things we want to see in the upcoming Friday the 13th A24 series that's going to be on pre Peacock. Precock? We don't want the pre... It's going to be on Peacock. So let's go trick or treat and let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go red pumpkin head on VHS. Because Halloween never ends. Halloween never ends. Halloween never ends. Yeah. Presented to us by showrunner Brian Fuller, who made Hannibal. These are five things I would love to see happen in that TV series. You know, I didn't know Friday the 13th was this Friday, but it is. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a little tease. Maybe just a photo or something or just some new news. Surely not a trailer or anything yet, but maybe something. I had no idea Friday the 13th was coming up this Friday. We were doing a Patreon stream on Patreon yesterday, just watching all the movie trailers that are coming out, all the horror movie trailers that are coming out this upcoming month together and I looked down I was like yeah this one comes out in oh my god it's Friday the 13th this week which is always exciting also we will be doing a Friday the 13th special live stream Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern if you want to make sure you're there on Friday night and you don't miss videos like this covering Friday the 13th covering Scream Halloween horror movies all that stuff if this is your thing you might want to consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell because YouTube does like to hide us sometimes because we're a little bit dirty not in like the way that we don't wipe or anything but just that we we say a lot of curse words and things like that so anyway starting the list number one my wish and hope and dream is that they have jason early and often now one of the things that came out about this was the initial press release was like hey it's a prequel and everybody's like oh my god with the rights issues you're not even gonna have jason in it. it's gonna be all about pamela what the fuck greg but then fangoria did an interview with him and brian fuller came out and said no 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 no. it's a pre remake you all which would go to tell you that it's gonna show before Jason, it's going to show young Jason, current Jason, and the future of Jason as well. At least that's the way that I take it. And if you're worried about the rights issue, they covered that as well. He said, we have the rights to everything because it's a streaming series. If we were a movie, we would have trouble. But they've got all the Jasons. They've got Crystal Lake. They can use whatever the hell they want to. We are good to go. Fully fucking loaded, John. Another thing that's a little bit troublesome when you think about this is, okay, but it's going to start with a prequel. So when are we going to actually see Jason? When are we going to see Jamie Lee's breasts? When are we going to see Jason Voorhees in his full form? That's what we... That's what the people want right god damn it's been so long jason i need jason you know so what i propose is that they do the lost thing and even in the early seasons while they're focusing on pamela and jason's youth and all that stuff and elias and all the stuff that's going on in, in their trailer park cabin that they've got going on create a storyline where you can jump back and forth through time a little bit and they show us what's going on in the current time with fully formed jason doing stuff and and jump back and forth like they did a little bit with loss just tie that into the story a little bit so that we get our fill of Jason in those early episodes while they're showing us the, the Pamela prequel stuff. And then obviously as the seasons go on, I would like to see it focus more and more and more on Jason as we push forward. I just want as much Jason as possible. Yes, the, the Pamela thing's interesting and I think Elias is interesting. I think there's a lot of places we haven't gone. That being said, I still want Jason to be the forefront of this show. Number two, use the franchise but cut the fat. What I'm hoping that we do, and by the way, this could go either way, depending on how you feel about fat. Maybe you want the fat off of your steak. I'm a guy who likes the fat part of the steak the best. My wife thinks it's fucking disgusting, so I eat her fat, and that's why I'm fat. But my point is this. My hope for a Halloween TV series, if that was ever to happen, has always been that they'll go back to the beginning and not remake what happened before. We can't go back through the Lori stuff and all that stuff all over again. It's been done to death. But Go back to the beginning, tell tell your own new story, but as you go through the seasons, pick and choose the best parts of each sequel and use them in your show. All those sequels, each even the worst sequels in these franchises have some great, cool moments in them. I would love to see them pick and choose just the best and leave the worst behind and use them for the show. For instance, uh, Friday the 13th Part 2, Mark. The dude in the wheelchair who died way too early in my opinion. I thought he would have been an amazing final person. I would love to see them bring in a character like that, have him in the show and give him more of a final guy type of role. And with the worst ones, like Jason Goes to Hell. Like that movie is 97% shit on a stick, right? In my opinion, at least. I know some people do love it. But 
it still has that cool idea and that cool moment that the series never really explored properly before where the FBI shows up to hunt Jason down as they would if he killed all these damn people. And there's this cool moment in the movie in the beginning where the FBI shows up and hunts him down. And there's like a manhunt and it's just whether it all turns out good or not is, is up for discussion, but it's a cool idea and a cool moment. I would love to see something like that get tied into the series at some point. Just pick and choose the coolest parts of, of each of these sequels and, and throw it a bone in the show. To me, that's it's much more interesting than just like corny kind of loose Halloween kills this sort of Easter eggs. I like Halloween kills, but I thought the Easter egg stuff and the throwbacks and the legacy stuff was really forced and corny rather than see do something like this than just give us like fanfare Easter egg crap. And if you look at the interview that Fangoria did with Brian Fuller, I think his mind goes there too. My heart burns that too, Geppetto. He says, uh, everything, we can use everything. We can go to hell, we can go to space. That's not to say we will do those things, although if we do go 10 seasons, I will be lobbying hard to go to space. So now, granted, I think he's he's talking tongue-in-cheek here or whatever, but they are, they're, they're definitely, I think, doing at least two seasons of this. At the point of this interview they were already working on planning season three so i think this is already in their minds this may be something that we get as we go further season by season you might just see these seasons tie into their respective movies movie counterparts as the season go along and i think that would be pretty cool another part of this that you could do is give us all the jasons he says also in this interview that i think over the course of the series you will see many familiar manifestations of jason so whether it be in flashbacks episode to episode or season to season how cool would it be to see a story oriented organic version of all the different Jasons that we've seen over the years. Pending, of course, how supernatural they end up deciding to go with Jason, because obviously there's versions of Jason you can't get here if we're not going to go the supernatural route, but that's a question for you guys. Do you want them to keep this as grounded as possible being an A24 project, or would you like to see them actually go full fucking Monty male nudity all the way and make Jason supernatural. And I'm talking both extremely different versions of Jason, like young, deformed, lake jumping Jason, or old baghead Jason, for instance, and also the subtle wardrobe changes. I mean, like, I'd love to see the story lead to plausible reasons for Jason at some point to find yellow gloves and a tool belt and have the whole Jason Lee lives vibe at some point. Let's be honest, he had an amazing ass in that movie. And finally, and I know number two is a very long point, but in this same vein, a cool easter egg non-easter egg that would actually be worthwhile they could do here is give us some of the kills from the previous movies that the mpaa cut friday the 13th as much as maybe more than any other franchise in history had some amazing moments ruined by the mpaa kills cut short not shown at all just corny absolutely awful shit they did to some of these amazing kill ideas this being on peacock and it can let its freak fucking flag fly I can't think of a quicker way to grab the original Friday the 13th audience and get them on board with what you're doing. Number three, take it seriously, but keep it a slasher. So when I heard A24 was gonna be producing this, I was very excited because let's be honest, I mean, it would be so easy for someone to take the Friday the 13th property and kind of do with it what they're doing with the Chucky series on sci-fi. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not a diss to Chucky. What's going on there is, 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 is great for that franchise, for Chucky, it works for it. But Jason's a little bit different, and we haven't had somebody come and try to make it like this. I think A24, if they bring the whole atmosphere that they're known for, a little bit of the slow burn stuff, a lot of the freaky stuff to Jason, they can actually make it pretty scary, which is something we just have not seen really. But that being said, you cannot lose sight of the main fan base here either. If you make something that's too slow burn, that's too highfalutin, that's just not at all in the realm of Jason, it'll never work, which is why I feel like you add that atmosphere, you add that mood, you take it super serious and try to make it scary as you can, but you have to have the slashing, you have to have the violence, you have to have all the stuff that Jason's known for. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I love the comedic moments that we've gotten throughout the series of the campers partying and the dead fucks and stuff like that. I think there's room for that in this series if, if you do some smart writing and you put it in the right moments. But when Jason shows up at that party to kill those dead fucks, I want to be scared. According to Fuller, this should not be an issue either, as he says, it will be pretty murderous. I think we'll be dropping bodies every episode, and I think there's something about the build of that as we are hopefully in for the long haul. Number four, I want to see, as we have all this extra time to go through the lore of Jason, I want to see how Jason fucking becomes Jason. 
Now, some of the movies in the franchise have done a, a, a decent job of this. The remake showed him living off the land and, for better or worse, building tunnels like Bob the Nutcase Builder. And some movies have done an awful job about it, like Jason Takes Manhattan, where he's just fucking teleporting all around the city. I would love to see, as we go, just how Jason got so strong. I don't want to see him doing like a Merkin's Jason workout routine or anything like that, but I, I would love to see just like how he became this kind of force that he became. And especially if you do end up going the supernatural route with that, I'd love for that lore and all that stuff to be explained in a really cool way. Number five, I want mainstay characters that you can root for in this series. The something dangerous that we're doing with this series a little bit is, well, we're going the whole prequel route, you know, and we're going to see, we're going to be spending time, uh, dark time with Jason murdering people and things like that. We're going to be spending time with Pamela being a fucking Looney Tune, and we're going to see Elias sitting in the, the, the trailer park cabin eating Vienna sausages. That's a dangerous route where it could turn into a Rob Zombie type thing where you just like everyone's gross and shitty and you don't like anybody. I feel like this show will desperately need, and I'm sure that they will, uh, some characters that you like that you can root for a little bit. Now, that is a little bit hard when you're talking about a series like this because you don't want to go like the 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 forever final girl or guy Lori Strode route because it shackles the series a little bit like okay so I know this is the main person so they're never going to die how many seasons are we going to do that you can't really do that and plus again we've already done that with Michael and Lori and then you also can't have the lead character a new lead character every season getting away at the end and you're just doing the same old thing and I think the answer to that is to involve the town a little bit more and involve the town of Crystal Lake a little bit more we've seen that throughout the series as, as the campers are going to town people warning them not to go all that shit like that. I would love to see some of those characters be really likable. And sometimes, yeah, they're going to have to die because that's just what happens. But some of them can survive as we go on series through the series. And I think one way they could do that is maybe the entire town knows about Jason. They know what's going on. And they, for whatever reason, cannot stop him. They can't do anything about it. They're scared to death. The whole town's in fear of him. But you can have likable characters that you enjoy. And maybe some of them sometimes try to help the campers or the people coming around Crystal Lake. But they know if Pam or Elias or Jason or anybody knows that they've tried to help, that they're going to get visited by Jason in the middle of the fucking night. And nobody wants that. Imagine that whole town living in fear of Jason that way. That if they try to help somebody escape, he will show up while they're sleeping in the middle of the night at their door. But I think having some of the townspeople be more involved and also likable characters will be a nice yin-yang from the darkness that we're seeing at Crystal Lake. And also it'll keep you from having to have this revolving AHS style door of new characters coming in and getting killed off each season. And again, going back to us wanting it to be scary, part of, of Friday the 13th being scary is being in fear for these victims. If we hate all the victims, if they're all assholes, we're not going to be on the edge of our seat hoping they don't get their head chopped off while Jason or Pam is chasing them at some point. But if you have likable characters that you care about, you're going to be scared for them when Jason attacks. And number six, I know I said five, but just a tiny quick one here. I would love for them to use this show as an opportunity to give us little bits of Jason that the movies just don't have time to do. And I'm talking about little things, maybe fanfare things. I would love to see more of Jason in the snow, like Never Hike Alone did. I would love to see Jason during Christmas time. Like, how cool would it be to have one episode, not like a fucking Christmas episode, but like, you know, the, the Christmas lights around and Jason stalking around. Like, that, that kind of thing would be cool. These little dressings that they could do that they didn't maybe really have time to do in the movie before would be really cool. So I know we can't really leave Crystal Lake, but imagine a scene where Jason tries to drive a car. Has he ever driven a car before? What does that look like? And I don't mean comedic. I just mean like just different things like that, that the movies have never given us about Jason. It would be really cool to see the show delve into that stuff. And guys, that's it. That's it. Those are my five to six things I would love to see. And yeah, one of them was just Jason around Christmas lights because I think that would look badass. <laughs> Pretty simple. But hey, what are some things I didn't talk about here that you guys want to see? Also, do you want to see Jason be supernatural in the show or not? Comment down below. Let me know. What are your plans, if any, for Friday the 13th? And again, if you don't have any, meet us here at 8 p.m. to talk some Jason shit. And to do that, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Guys, we love your fucking faces. Thanks so much, as usual, for hanging out. We'll see you soon. Halloween never ends. Suck my fucking dick. And I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box. But suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating. Let's go fucking drinking. Let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS. Because Halloween never ends. 